Hello everyone, it's Command Block Kid here, and today I'll be showing you how to use the fill command for Minecraft 1.18 Java and Bedrock editions. I'll start with a Java version of this command, and then I'll show you the Bedrock version of it. Timestamps for this video are in the description below. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into it. To get started for Java edition, you're first going to need to go over to one corner of the area that you want to fill in, so I'm just going to pick this block here, and you're going to type in slash fill. After you type in space, you're going to see a, cr a couple of options here. Um, and it's, in my case, these are all numbers or coordinates. And these represent where my crosshair, or my, the plus sign at the center of my screen, is currently pointing at. Now if your crosshair is not actually pointing at anything, you'll just get a few tildes, which look like that, and they represent your current location. But since we want to do it at a specific location, we're just going to type in the last set of coordinates down here. So the bottom set, alternatively, you could hit tab three times and get here, but really that's just literally just what you need to do. So now you're gonna hit enter, and as you can see, you get an error, all right? That is to be expected. You're now gonna go over to the other opposite, like the exact opposite corner, and you're gonna repeat the same process. You're gonna hit slash, up arrow key to get back your uh, coordinates. And then you're going to repeat the process again, like so. And now you can actually decide what you want to fill in for your, uh, for the block you want to fill in for the area. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick uh, blue wool or light blue wool, like so. And as you can see, I just filled in an entire cube with blue wool. Now there are a few extra options that you can add onto the command as well. So if I just go hit, uh, get back to the original command like so, uh, and hit space, you'll see there's a list of options here that you can choose from to modify the uh, fill command experience. So I'm going to start with destroy, and basically what that does is any blocks that are in the area uh, before you use the fill command will be literally destroyed to their item block form. And what I'm going to do just to highlight the difference is I'm going to change this to red hole, like so. And as you can see, all of the wool blocks here that were there before just got literally sent into their item block forms and they're just like all around the place. Uh, don't do this on like a potato PC or a kind of crappy server or anything like that because you will suffer quite a bit of lag if you do that, especially if you do it a in a really huge cubic area, so just be careful with it. <laughs> Hollow is actually as it sounds, where it will fill in the exterior of an area, but it actually leaves the interior completely empty. So as you can see, the interior is completely filled, like so. I just break a lot of blocks here. Yeah, you get the point, it, it is full. So I'm just gonna fill this in real quick. And now we're going to go ahead and repeat this command, uh, like what I did previously but we're actually going to just change it to hollow. You might have noticed that it only filled in 27 blocks, but that's because it filled all of those in with air blocks. And it didn't touch any of the outline because I used Red Bull for the same thing. So yeah, this is a completely hollow area and it's hollow. <laughs> Next up on the list is keep which basically what it does is it will only fill in air blocks while keeping the original blocks intact. So I'm going to demonstrate this. So I'm again, going to switch, I'm going to switch to key, if I can spell it correctly. And I'm going to go back to light blue wool, like so. And boom. As you can see, it uh, has kept all of the original blocks intact while only filling in the blocks that went there before, like or all the air blocks that were there previously. So yeah, that's basically how keep works. Next up on the list is outline, which is actually similar to hollow, but it leaves the interior in its original state. It leaves it completely untouched. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of light blue wool blocks around here and a couple of air blocks. And the outside is completely filled with uh, red wool. So I'm just going to repeat the command again, what I've done before, sh uh, slash and up arrow key. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit outline. And I'm just going to go ahead and change the wool color again. We're going to change it this time to, uh, let's do yellow wool, like so. 
And as you can see, the entire outline is completely filled with uh, yellow wool blocks. But if I punch my way through in here, you'll see that the entire interior here is completely untouched, minus me punching these two blocks here. So that is how outline works. The final option on the list here is replace. And basically it works like the exactly as the normal command would work. And it's literally the exact same. So I could literally just omit the replace part. But if you wanna be fancy to your friends or like other stuff or just overall, you wanna put in the extra step go ahead and do so. It literally does the exact same thing. I'm actually just going to replace uh, again with red wool and hit enter. It literally does the exact same thing as if I ran this command without replace. And as you can see, the exterior and interior are completely filled in with red wool. So yeah, that's basically how replace works. That's it for the Java version of the, of the fill command. Stick around to see the bedrock version of the command, or you can skip ahead to the end of the video. To get started for bedrock, go over to one corner of the area that you want to fill in, and type in slash fill, like so. Up here where my cursor is at, you're going to see a tilde and a number, if you're looking at something with your crosshair, which is basically that plus symbol in the center of your screen. Uh, you, you can either type in the number as is, or if you have access to a keyboard, hit tab twice to get that number. Repeat this process a couple of times, and you have yourself a full set of chords, or coordinates like so. Hit enter, and as you can see up here, I have a syntax error, and that is to be expected. Now go over to the exact opposite corner of the area that you want to fill in. You're going to hit slash, if you have a keyboard, up arrow, and then space. Now, if you do have an Xbox controller or like any other controller in general, you can enter in like chat and you can hit like the up arrow, but or up on the D-pad, I think, and that will get you uh, to the, your previous command that you used. Now you're just gonna go ahead and repeat the same process that you did before. And now you're going to type in what you wanna fill this in with. So in this case, I have light blue wool, but I want, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in with normal wool like so, because there's no blue wool option right there. That I'll get into that in a little bit. So hit enter. And as you can see, it filled in the entire area with white wool. So if you remember a little earlier, I did say I wanted to fill this in with light blue wool, but I was only able to fill it in with white wool, like so. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bring up the previous command that I just ran. And we're actually going to use what's called a data value. And it's basically an integer starting at zero and can end at whatever number, basically. In, in the case for wool, it's 15. But in other cases, like stone, it can probably be much higher because there are so many different variants of stone. So we're just gonna go ahead and type in a different data value. Okay, by default, these are set to zero because like zero. As you can see, zero blocks filled. That's basically white wool. All right. Now I'm actually going to go through uh, individually what all the wool colors are. And uh, we're just going to keep it at that. Because if I do like everything else, it's going to make the video pretty darn long. So wool uh, with a data value of one brings up orange wool. Value of two, purple wool. Or wait, is that purple? No, that's magenta. <laughs> okay, magenta wool. Sorry. Wool number three is our light blue wool. Wool number four, yellow wool. Five is lime green. Six is pink wool. Seven is gray wool. Eight is light gray wool. Nine is cyan. 10 is purple wool. Here's purple. 11 is blue wool. 12 is brown wool. 13 is green wool, the regular green. 14 is red wool and 15 black wool, like so. In my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and go use three because that is uh, light blue wool, like so. 
Now there are a few additional uh, options that you can use for the command as well, uh, in addition to the data values and everything that we've already covered. So if I hit slash up arrow, uh, you can hit space after your data value, which if you don't need one, just hit zero. And then as you can see here where my cursor is, there's a couple of options here. There's destroy, hollow, keep, outline, and replace. I'm gonna start with this joy, and basically what it does is it like makes all the item blocks like previously there go kablooey. Alright. Is it so I'm just gonna type it destroy just to show you that. Uh, all the blocks just basically get scattered around. So I'm gonna do 14 just for red wool for the data value. Hit enter. Now as you can see, all the blocks here just got sent scattered around the place. Now I I highly recommend that you just go ahead and pick up all of the stuff unless it's for like some sort of effect that you're trying to achieve through commands I highly would recommend just picking everything up just so that you reduce the amount of lag that is in your world or on your server so that's basically how destroy works hollow is basically as it sounds it fills in the exterior of the area or the outline with whatever block you specified uh, but we'll fill in the interior with air so as you can see right now it is completely solid in here. All right, I'm gonna fill this all back in. I'm gonna run the command I used previously, except instead of destroy, I'm going to use hollow, like so. I'm gonna hit enter, and as you can see, there are 27 blocks that were filled, okay? But there's no visible change on the outside. So if I just go ahead, punch a hole through here, as you can see, the entire interior area here has been completely filled in with air. And that's basically how hollow works. Keep basically just uh, fills in any air blocks with the kind of block that you want, and it will keep all uh, other blocks that are there that are not air blocks just completely untouched. So as you can see in here from the hollow part of the command, as you can, there's like a whole bunch of space here that we can use that's like completely empty that's filled up with air blocks. Um, and there's like a, the entire, almost the entire outline here is filled in with red wool. So if I go ahead and run the previous command, except with keep, and I change the data value of wool to something like three, so that I can get the uh, light blue wool in. As you can see, it filled in 29 blocks, which is basically like all this area here. It literally filled everything in here, but it left everything else completely untouched so that ba that's basically what keep does in a nutshell outline is actually pretty similar to hollow but it preserves the interior of the structure completely i will only fill in the exterior part and all of the stuff inside here including air blocks and the other light blue wool here will be left completely untouched all right so if i just go ahead and run the previous command except with outline and I change this to 14 for red wool. I'm gonna hit enter. And as you can see, not a whole lot has changed. It only filled in these two blocks here. And as you can see, the entire interior here has uh, been left untouched. Now I can do this with another color as well. I'm actually going to do yellow wool. So as you can see, the entire um, exterior has been filled in like so. I, and I break through here again the interior is left completely untouched all right it is basically how I remember it and so that's basically how out or outline works and the last thing that is on the list is uh, replace which basically does the exact same thing as the normal command like everything before it but just fancier so basically, it will literally do the exact same thing. Fill it in completely solidly. It'll be as if nothing has changed. I'm just going to replace this with uh, Red Bull here. And just like before, as you can see, everything has been completely filled in like so. There is literally nothing different with running replace or, or just like anything like that. You can literally omit replace and it will still do the exact same thing like so as you can see does the exact same thing so if you just want to be fancy or impress your friends or anything like that 
you could do that, but it's really not necessary as it's the default go-to option for when the uh, when you're using the fill command. So that is how replace works. That's it for the bedrock edition of this uh, command, and that's actually everything for this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or literally anything else you want to put in the comment section, please put whatever it is in the comment section down below, and I will do my best to get back to you. Uh, if you like this video, please drop a like, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Again, thank you all for watching this video, and I hope you have a good one. Bye!